Hello, this is Mighty Owl. Welcome to Apple of My Pie, a bakery known for their apple pie and homemade apple granola bars. Let's see what the customers buy. And maybe in the end, I'll buy something myself. Jenny and Chen are here, and they both want to try an apple pie and a granola bar, so they order one of each. Oh, but there's only one granola bar, and so they're going to have to share it fairly. So that each of them can have an equal share, each piece has to be the same size. Just like this. Now this granola bar was split into two equal shares. Jenny gets half of the granola bar, and Chen gets the other half. When something is split into two equal shares, it's split into two halves. And take a look at this mini pie. There's one pie and two people. They want to share it equally, so they slice it right down the middle like this. Now they've again made two halves. But this isn't the only way they could have sliced the pie. They could have sliced it like this, or this, or even this. As long as each share is the same size, it doesn't matter how you slice it. But would slicing it like this have worked? Well, no, because that doesn't make two equal shares. Uh, let's put one of the ways that does work into our notebook. Look, four friends have now entered the shop, and they want to do some sharing too. Now let's look at this granola bar. To split something into four equal pieces, it's often helpful to split it in half first, which is great because you already know how. Now there are two equal pieces, and let's try to split each piece in half again. And we can do that like this. Great! Now we have four pieces, and they all look to be the same size. Or, in other words, we have four equal shares. Each friend gets a fourth of the granola bar. The whole granola bar was split into four fourths. Could we do the same thing with their apple pie? First, let's split it in half, and that means two pieces. Then we split it in half again. Great job! We've cut this pie into fourths. Now, let's add this example to our notebook too. We've split a granola bar and a pie into halves for two friends, and into fourths for four friends. Oh, but what do we do if three friends come in? How would we make them equal shares then? Well, let's give it a try. Here's another granola bar. Um, how are we going to do this? What if we tried splitting it in half first? And that'll give us two pieces. And okay, uh, we need one more piece for three, so let's try cutting it here. We have three pieces, but they are definitely not all the same size. Okay, so maybe cutting it in half first doesn't work. To share equally among three people, we need to cut the granola bar like this. Awesome! Now we've made three equal shares, and each friend can get a third, and the entire granola bar is cut into three thirds. And let's see how this looks with the apple pie that our three friends are splitting. We can cut it into thirds like this. You can see that each section is the same size. Three equal shares, or three thirds. Ooh, great job! Now we've created two, three, and four equal shares using the granola bars and the apple pies. Hey, and look who it is! Eric and Sue. They've come into the store, and they want to share a granola bar too. Now they each drew a way that they could cut the granola bar. Do both of their ideas show two equal shares? We'll take a look. Yes, both drawings cut the granola bar in half. It doesn't matter that they look completely different. You can see that in Eric's, both pieces are the same size. And in Sue's, both pieces are the same size as well. Nice work! Either way they cut it, Eric and Sue will each get a half of the granola bar. Oh, and Will just came! Now, Eric, Sue, and Will are going to split one of those famous apple pies. And each friend has a different idea about how to cut the pie into thirds. Which one of these ideas shows three equal shares? Well, in Eric's case, it looks like all three pieces are the same size, but I'm not sure I can say the same for Sue's or Will's. Sue has a big piece at the bottom, 
and Will has a big piece in the middle. And so I don't think they cut theirs into thirds. Only Eric's version cuts the pie into thirds. Oh, now Jenny wants to share with them too. Eric, Chen, Jenny, and Will have all decided to share a granola bar. They also drew up ideas for how to make four equal shares. And which ones actually show four equal shares? Well, look for the ones that have four equal pieces. Eric's diagram looks like all four pieces are equal, as does Chen's. But in Jenny's case, it looks like she has two big pieces and two small pieces. Well, those aren't equal shares. And the same goes for Will. He has one big piece and three smaller ones. So, Eric and Chen's ideas have cut the granola bars into fourths, and Jenny's and Will's did not. Amazing! We've learned to cut rectangles and circles into two, three, and four equal shares. We've learned that two equal shares are called halves, three equal shares are called thirds, and four equal shares are called fourths. We saw that one can cut shapes many different ways and still have them be equal shares. We just have to make sure that each piece has the same size. For more mighty fun, let's practice this with rectangular and circle-shaped food at home. I know I'm going to. I'm going to buy a granola bar and a pie, cut each of them into two equal parts, and share them with myself. See you soon!